What is up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel where we uh, do shit Colts way. Uh, ain't always the right way, but we get it done. Look, if you want to do something like this in the middle of nowhere, I got my trailer right here, finna cook some deer steak, some deer sausage. Uh, take a walk with me. Plugged into an inverter right here. Going, to, going over to the Super Duty. You know, you wouldn't want to do it with the truck was dead, especially how long I'm grilling. But I got the truck running. It's a diesel that some bitch will idle all day long. You want to learn how to do cool shit like this? Stay tuned. Push. What is up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel where we do shit Colts way. Today, we're going to do a little video. Um, I got these old jump cables. Just the wire. They don't have no ends to them. But I ordered some stuff. Basically, I'm going to run some thick wire from the front to the back where I can run a winch, uh, an inverter if I need to, because the one inside the truck's garbage. Uh, winch, inverter, uh, travel trailer, dump trailer. Uh, it'll be like a, a little, these little Anderson plugs. So I'll have this mounted on my truck somewhere, and it'll be hot from the battery, and then I'll just be able to plug the other end in, hook it to a a winch, just anything, anything you want to power, so stay tuned. Okay, so as my boy Tracy Lawrence would say, as any fool can see, these son bitches ain't long enough to go from the front to the back. Um, I did order two, I ordered two of them, but I, I need the other one for, for some other stuff and you'll see why later. So what I'm gonna do is just peel them, take them apart, and I'm just gonna run the positive I'll fuse it up here. I'm going to run the positive from the front to the back and I'll find a ground on the frame for the, for the ground. That way, essentially I can use twice as much wire and not have to use the other one that's doubled up and it, I'll be able to, it'll work out a lot better. I don't care what all y'all engineers tell me the, the freaking batteries are grounded to the frame. It's all the same. So I'll be able to use half the wire and I can use my other one that's doubled up like this for what I want to use it for and, and we'll see later in the video. So I'm gonna go ahead and just step on this and peel all this all the way back. All right, just so I cover everything, I pulled the wire in two and I spliced it right here. So now it's one big long piece and I can get this piece easily from the back to the front or the front to the back, however y'all want to say it. But I just want to let y'all know I spliced that. If you don't know how to splice wire or what you got to do, you probably shouldn't be messing with this video, but there you go, I spliced it, so I just want to cover that. Next thing I'm finna do is run this wire loom up over this. I probably don't have to do it because this is real protected, it's real thick plastic, but I'm still gonna do it because I know somebody will say something in the comments if I don't. So I'm gonna run that wire loom over the wire and then we'll start running it from the back to the front. I like to start at the back, just I just do because it's easier on me. But anyway, starting from the back to the front. Okay, this is just a little access. So now I've got the wire loom all wrapped up on here. Real damn simple. Now, okay, now I've got this Anderson plug right here. Um, and this is Anderson lug. I've got to crimp this to this wire right here because this is what locks it in. So this will be on the side of my truck and this will be crimped to the wire and it's going to go in here and lock. And inside is these little metal tabs that's sticking up right now. But when you stick the Anderson plug in there, it pushes them down and in theory, it locks it where they can't get past this little lip right here. So it locks in place. So I've got to crimp this onto this wire. I'm gonna do that off camera. All right, not the best crimp job, but it ain't going nowhere. So now I'm gonna go find a spot. Oh, actually, actually, how about a mullet update, son? Look at that, huh? Huh? She's coming. So we'll go find a spot to put this on my truck. I'll jam this up in there. And then once it's secured, I can pull it from the back to the front. That way the wire don't follow me as I pull it. It's already secured down. So let's roll. All right, we're on the driver's side back. Right here, that's where I self-tapped them screws in. I'm gonna hook my wire up right there and run that positive. And you can see it's got a plus and a minus. Some positives going to the battery. I'm gonna scrape this up right here and I'm gonna just run my little ground from right here, put a bolt here, and just run it right here so I don't need that much ground wire. So just essentially saved all that from the front, but that's where my plug's gonna be on the rear. All right, boys. I've got the Anderson plug plug 
would you look at that freaking latte waiting on me son uh i got the positive plugged in there i'm gonna run this wire now all the way to the front and i'll zip tie along the way i'll show you the path i went when i'm done okay boys we ran it from here up over here through there comes up over here goes right down this line right here up here and then i'm coming up on the passenger side because it's the easiest place to put my breaker so i come up over here about halfway through the truck and then i i cross i go across up through there and then along the rest of the frame up top and i'll show you where i come out oh bush and then i come out where i usually do right here I mean, you can't find no damn room in this place to put anything. And I'm gonna put me a breaker right here. I'll show you that install in a minute. So I had to come up right here. I didn't want to run it all the way across the engine bay. So that's where I'm at right there. All right, boys, I'm trying to beat the rain, but I got a 150 amp breaker right here and I'm gonna mount it. Only place I could find 2018 F right here, F250. So if you ain't got upfitters, it's a perfect spot over there, but I got upfitters. So I'm gonna put some self-tapping screws right here, mount that thing. This is 150 amp waterproof breaker. So you can see right there where it says bat, aux, auxiliary. So this side to the right is gonna hook to the battery and this side to the left is gonna hook to this one I got running to the back. And that way, you know, I don't have to always keep this blue wire running all the way to the back hot. I can just open the circuit right there and then it's only hot to right here. So anything past it going to the back is dead. So when I wanna use it, I just come over here, flip that in and let her bump. So that's just another little thing. I don't have to have it on all the time. I just do that. And if I ever need my inverter, my winch, whatever I wanna do, I'll come in here and bip, done. Let's, let's mount this and I'll show you where I mount it. I mean, I'm gonna use these little self-tapping screws. That's it, nothing special. All right, so I crimped this little end on here. I'll heat shrink it and tape it up. I'll probably just tape it up, be good enough. And then I'm gonna hook it to this and then mount it because getting my hand down there, mounting this, screwing it in afterwards is gonna be a pain. So I crimped it, putting it on here, screwing it in. I'll show you the finished product. Well, boys, I sent her a little too hard, cracked the mount, but I think she'll still be good. So it still operates. We'll find out if it, if it works or not, but she's mounted in secure. I right, cracked it right there. This side's still good and holding, so I ain't really worried about it. I'm gonna hook the, uh, actually I'm gonna go to the back now and scuff up the back and hook the negative lead in, and then we'll run to the positive and we'll, we should have power. We'll test her out. All right, so I'm gonna put my ground in this hole and go over. Got me a little grinder right here. I'm just gonna scuff that up a little bit, get a little file, scuff it up, make it just a little bit better connection, put a little dielectric grease in it. And then I'm gonna run the negative ground cable from here stick it in there and then i'll go make up the positive and we're good i love it have a latte celebrate okay boys got my positive going to the front my negative right here grounded i'm going to stick this in there and i've actually got well, i've actually got this little cover you got to put on before you put the wires or else you won't be able to, to get it on so let me do that and i'll show you what it looks like at the end all right, boys, got her grounded to the frame over here in the negative, and this one positive going to the front. This a little cover to keep water out. I know it's gonna get in there. I ain't really worried about it. Uh, so now only thing left to do is to go hook the positive end up for the rain. I probably won't be able to show you all what, what, it do, what I can do with it today, but tomorrow I'll have a good little something. So. Now I've got, you know, this, this wire right here going all the way to the back. And then now I've got to go from this terminal right here to my positive and that's it and I'm done. So let me do that real quick and uh, we'll see what she's about. Okay, so positive running over here to this one that said bat. And then this uh, other cable I got right here running all the way to the back. Right now, I don't know if you can see it. This fuse is, is open right now, this breaker. 
I click that and it closes it and now it's hot all the way to the back. Push that and I can ride around forever with it did until I need it. I just come in here, flip this little line up, boom. All right, so that's all I can do before the rain, but tomorrow I'm gonna take y'all on a little excursion. I got a whole bunch of activities I can now do because I have power. So it's gonna rain today. I'm gonna do my thing, I'm gonna go inside, marinate some deer meat. I'm gonna cook y'all a damn gourmet deer meat meal. How am I gonna do that? Oh, because I got power back here and I can run an inverter. I can run a Traeger if I want to. I got a whole slew of shit. I'm finna show you the possibilities are endless. So stay the hell tuned. All right, boys. Now, let's see what we got, son of a. Got some deer steak on the Traeger. Right here next to the old Super Duty. I'm in my backyard, but I can be wherever the hell I want to be. You know why? Because I do shit my way. Let's get this up over here like this. 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 Oh, snap, son. Alright. Now. The old jalapeno. Jalapeno cheese deer steak. Let's shut that real quick. Now. Before I get this video started, I had a subscriber. His name is William. He's a Blackhawk pilot. And uh, he's a fan of the channel. And he, I helped him out. And he sent me, yes, he sent me something. And it, something really awesome. And I want to show you. It's this bench made, bench made triage right here. But that ain't the only thing. So he's, he's got a buddy over there at Blackshear Blade Works that has a laser engraver. What? get you some of that son so i want to say thank y'all to both y'all i appreciate it <laughs> luke luke i'm trying to video son uh, thank thank to both of y'all um and i'll put black shear blade works instagram up on the page if you didn't need any laser ingression laser etching or anything done like that to your knives or or anything hit him up on instagram i'll put that his name up here on the screen or in the description of the video but i pre appreciate the hell out of y'all thank you now let's get this going let's see what we got here this is this is a deer that i killed this year with my bow so what mm. Mm. let's see what she tastes like all right you know you my boy son come on get up here come on come on get you son my man now that's it don't be trying to get more mm. Mm. let's get all my boys something Here you go, Diesel. Diesel, get that thing. Come on, fatty. Come on, Tucky. He's my man, too. All right. Anyway. Well, that's about right. My wife come out when the food's done. She's good at that. Yeah, my little baby girl. Hey, sweet babies. Huh? You want to try some deer steak, too? You can get it wherever you want, babe. It's all done. I'm going to show them how this works real quick. So, essentially, you could be anywhere you want to. Um, just not too far away from a latte. Let me grab that. So, we go here. This uh, extension cord hits my inverter. And now I got two, two little inputs right here. I hooked up another Anderson cord, too. That plugs into this one. So, I could just unplug this. Well, I'll do it. So, I unplug that. I just roll that up in the back of my truck, put it away. I can have an inverter, whatever I want. So this goes over here to the truck like this. And it plugs in where we installed that yesterday. So that's pretty sweet. Um, that's, that's essentially what it is. But I was going to show you all today some of the few things that, or the endless things that you can really do with it. And uh, grilling some deer steak on the Traeger is one of them. But we'll do a few more things here in a second. All right. So... You see, you can grill with it, you do whatever you want with it. Uh, the inverter in the truck sucks. So, Anderson cord plug, plugs into the one that we made yesterday. Uh, I wired this one up just long enough to sit on the tailgate and go in. So, now I can run stuff on the tailgate. You know, uh, skill saw, whatever I want. Can't do that with that cheap friggin' inverter in there. Can't cook no bomb ass steak either. Oh. Okay. I know some Nancy electrician Karen is gonna come say, well it's not grounded. Well guess what? It's 
rounded now. Uh, so we got, you can use the inverter. You can use the inverter, so you can grill something. I can get my daughter's little swing out here she can sit on and swing her. I can heat up her damn bottle if I want to. Um, I can run me a fridge out here and keep my damn lattes cold. So another thing, plug this in. See that my jumper cables come with two. They come with two and I spread them apart yesterday so I could keep, remember I said I wanted to keep one for purposes like this and you'd see at the end of the video. That's why I kept this one intact so I could be farther away from the truck when I want to do stuff. Um, so this right here, say, say Karen's got a damn dead battery or some shit. She needs to jump off while I pull up and she's instantly going to be talking crap. What the hell is he doing? Don't he know his battery's not in the back? Shut up, woman. Let me show you what the hell I'm doing. So I take this. I keep all my jumper cables and shit in the back. I'm going to keep them in the front. So I pull up back to her battery, open my deck system, and grab my damn Anderson plug cables, put them together, jump her off. Thank you, woman. You don't know nothing. So look, I keep doing this all day. There's a bunch of shit I can do, but I just wanted to kind of give y'all the damn gist of it. So you can set up your truck however you want. You know, I set there. And another thing I didn't say earlier, the reason I put my plug on the passenger side is because there's already bolt holes in the, in the frame part right there. And, and I would have just had to get you to bit and drill through on that side on the, the, or the reason I put mine on the driver's side, because there's holes down there. I can put a bolt through already. If I had done it on this side, I just had to drill extra holes. So just a little bit less work. Um, but as you can see, and this is a 2000 watt inverter. You can get whatever damn size you want. Now I did these little things right here with the truck off, but you don't want to, you know, you want your truck running, especially if you're going to grill for 30 minutes, you want your truck running, your battery will dead or will die. Um, but a couple cuts here, there, jumping somebody off, you're usually going to be running anyway. So, I mean, it's a, and I, another thing. I, I ain't even done with this video yet. Hold up. Shit. I thought I had, I was done. I got a whole bunch more crap to show you. So say you got a, um, you know, a, a dump trailer, RV trailer, or something like that. You can plug it up and charge it. Uh, if you got a dump trailer hook, you can plug it up, hydraulic dump bed, dump that crap. Without the battery, you can use this plug. So it is what it is. Uh, also, say I'm rolling, say I'm rolling down a damn turn row or something, or a two two lane, uh, and I get stuck or whatever. I got a I got a, a winch that goes on the back of my truck. I'm going to show you all that right now. So I got to go get it up front. So what seems like about uh, instantly. On, on a YouTube video because it is it's gonna take me about 10 15 minutes to get all that back over here but I'll get it in a minute and I'll show you you can do that as well so get yourself a latte and relax all right so get in the damn tight ass spot you bury up your super duty you stuck you whatever I got a worn 16.5 on the front and that don't help me nothing back here unless I got a bunch of rope and some snatch blocks and got to work out perfect but so I got this wire to reach there but it's zip tied so just for video purposes Plug it in the damn Anderson plug. And uh, damn, there just happened to be a big ass oak tree back there behind me or my buddy or come get me or something. Shit. I'll at your boy. I mean, damn, what can't you do with this thing? You need to get one of these things. I'm telling you right now, a bunch of shit you can do with it. Uh, you no, know, I'll put all the, the links to this stuff in the video descriptions. Uh, you can get them in any colors. Um, I'll put some links to the Anderson plugs, the cables, uh, the jumper cables if you want to make jumper cables yourself, whatever you want to do. I'll put all that in the video description. Um, and once again, I appreciate all y'all watching. Well, I take that back. If you're riding around your damn truck with a mask on or your car with a mask on by yourself, I don't appreciate your ass watching because you a dumbass. So don't even watch my shit. These people, I'm looking, they're riding around with a mask on and they only wanted the damn car. I mean, and I don't give a shit if you've been vaccinated. I really don't care, you know, more power to you. Don't try to tell me I've got to get vaccinated. That ain't even a damn vaccine. That's another story. But I do appreciate the hell out of all y'all watching. I do appreciate it. William, thank you for this. I'm going to put the uh, Instagram for the etching on here somewhere in the video, I'll, in video description as well. But uh, me and the wife, we're about to go to a damn winery down the road. Damn, son, sharp as shit. We're
We're about to go to a damn winery down the road, and uh, your boy's finna load up on lattes before he goes to a winery, because I ain't got shit at that son bitch that I want. Till next time, send it, son.